Hello Pisces, welcome to your February 14th through February 21st 2020 love reading. Before we get started, I just want to go ahead and give my quick disclaimer. As this is a general reading, it will not resonate with everyone out there. Please take what does, leave what does not. Check your moon, your rising, your Venus signs for messages that may be, may be of help to you. Or take a look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for additional messages that may be more pertaining to you that, at this time or to get a comprehensive overview. As this is a general reading, please do not make any life-altering decisions or decisions of any kind based on a general reading because it will not have all the information available to you or the energies containing to your situation. So if you're looking for something tailored to you specifically, please do get a private reading. And for me, the information is in the detail box below in this video. All right, that being said, now out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into it, Pisces. So what I have here is uh, an advice card and messages from spirit and the universe and these we're going ahead and intuitively draw we're going to go ahead through those and then we will get into the tarot next okay so the first card out <coughs> what is your advice card and this is diana and this is the goddess diana and its focus intentions and it has this beautiful message that comes with it Keep your unwavering thoughts and feelings and actions focused on your target, and you will make your mark. Tenacity means sticking to a decision and not allowing outside forces to sway you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Imagine yourself to be like a mighty oak tree with your roots deeply planted into Mother Earth. Feel your solid strength and steady upward growth. Know that no matter what happens, you will succeed. Your branches may twist and turn as you flex towards the light, yet your unwavering intentions will ensure that no fate wind will sway you from your mission. Be in charge of your body, your schedule, and your mind, and keep them focused on your target. So various meanings of this card is stay positive, know what your priorities are, take action on them, Take control of your schedule, release all doubts, avoid naysayers and skeptics at this time. Beautiful, beautiful message from, from the goddesses. All right, so let's take a look now at the messages <clears throat> from the universe. And this is for the soulmate oracle deck. And it says, life is tough, but so are you. Never give up on something you really want. This is solid advice for you, Pisces. And adventures await. Go find it. Beautiful. So keep your focus, attention, stay positive this time. Realize that, you know, yes, love, life can be tough. It can really put you through it. Don't give up on what you want. Go out there and, and go and get it. But know that, you know, as tough as things may be, you're much tougher. You can have what you want as long as you stay focused. Okay, so romance angels we have here is codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I feel like that's not going to apply for all of you, but some of you, that definitely will ring true. Next we have, you deserve love. You are lovable. There was never any doubt on that. And we have honeymoon here. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And with um, Valentine's Day coming up, I believe that is uh, targeted to you that are already in a romantic commitment. All right, so let's go ahead and move these aside and jump into your tarot. All right. <laughs> I'm going to give a quick, quick few shuffles here, and then we will get started. I already pre-shuffled the deck already. But at this time, this little break here, if you have not yet done so, please do give a thumbs up to this video to keep it circulating for everyone else. And do be sure to subscribe so that you get these messages as they are released. I usually release them on either Thursday or Fridays. Each week. Right, one more time. Okay. 
Heart of the matter, we have judgment. What is crossing it is the Knight of Wands. Okay. Where the distant past, we have the Fool. Recent past, we have the Chariot. Crowning it, we have the Three of Wands. Future energy coming in, we have the Hangman. I do not read reversals unless I am guided to do so. And how you see yourself is the Four of Pentacles. Outside influence, two of pentacles, future hopes and fears, we have the emperor, and incoming energy, we have the king of wands, overall energy here, we have the ten of pentacles, bottom of the deck, we have the seven of swords. Okay. All right, Pisces, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look here, and what I'm seeing off the bat is that there is a situation that is calling for judgment, making a final judgment call. It could be with, this could be you, or this could be your person, this, you could be making a call about your person, but and crossing judgment is the night of want, that is fire energy, that is Leo Sagittarius or Aries, although it doesn't have to be. On the board right now, I am seeing Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energies. So take that as it resonates, but please do not assign um, gender or zodiacs as absolutes here, as we all have masculine feminine energy within us, so it can really speak to either or. And, you know, it really just speaks to the traits and the energies of the card. So it can be any, you know, it can really be any zodiac sign at all. So, okay, let's take a look here. Why is judgment and the Knight of Wands at the heart of the matter? Spirit team, show me clearly and accurately. Why is the Knight of Wands and judgment at the heart of the matter? Okay, we have getting it clarified with the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is <clears throat> this is a situation where you put a lot of work into to it. You may have been focusing a lot on yourself, making a plan here, haven't implemented it yet. This is indicating that there's a little bit more to push through, but this is having made a decision, wanting to take the world by storm looking out there and preparing. It's making that plan. <clears throat> it's working on a plan here. And this could be your person. They are hard at work coming up with a plan. They know what they want to do. They just haven't taken in any action yet. They're in that planning stage. But you know, judgment is being called here. Let's take a look at this fool. Why is it here in the distant past? Why is the fool here in the distant past? Please show me clearly and accurately. Spirit team, why is it here? Why is the fool here? Thank you. Okay, we have the King of Swords and the Five of Cups. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is in the past, in the distant past, so this wouldn't have been something that happened real recently. Someone wanted to take a new, a new have a new beginning, take a new start, go in a new direction. Take a leap of faith. They even may have made a head over heart decision. And there was a lot of pain and grief associated with this. You know, this is what could have led to the new beginning. Um, because there was a lot of pain, loss. This is so, you know, the five cups is being focused on what was lost, not seeing what still remains, what is still possible. And the king of swords is all about, you know, the intelligence, the analytical, the logical. They're not really about the emotional. They come from a very logical place. Um, they're not very good with showing their emotions or dealing with emotions. So what I feel is there could have been a could have been communication, but I, I really do feel for most of you, this was a head over heart decision to take a, a brand new leap of faith to go in a different direction because you were feeling you know heartbroken or loss or it left somebody here feeling heartbroken or loss. This could have been them, but this is air energy, Libra. Aquarius and Gemini. All right, let's take a look at this chariot. Why is here spirit team? Why is the chariot here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? 
why is the chariot here? Please show me clearly and accurately. Why is the chariot here? And the recent past. Okay, what I'm getting is the Three of Pentacles. I'm getting the star card, the star of Aquarius, energy of Aquarius, although so some of you may be dealing with Aquarius, but you don't have to be. And we got the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. So what I'm seeing is somebody wanted to reconcile the situation. They wanted to work together and move it forward. They had a lot of hope and faith. So I can look at the three of wands in the crowning position here. Why is it here? And I feel like, you know, this the three of wands is looking out, waiting for your ships to come in. It's also a card of waiting. Be taking a spiritual journey, but overall it's a part of waiting and looking what is still available. Okay, so bottom of the deck we have the Seven of Wands. This is being defensive, standing your ground, as well as lessons that still need to be learned. Okay, so what is clarifying the Three of Wands? is the Two of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Lovers here. So what I'm getting from that is in this situation, yes, there's not action being taken. It isn't a period of waiting. There may be small conflicts on what to do, which direction to go in. I believe that there's still information that needs to be observed in order to make a very clear decision on which direction you want to move in. I do feel like most of you are at a crossroads. And let's take a look at the hanging man. The hanging man is the energy of not taking any action at all. There's no movement. Hanging mountain, the hangman's tree trying to get a new perspective or needing to make a sacrifice to allow a new something new to come in. What we're getting here is the Queen of Pentacles on the Hangman. So this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But it can really speak to the Queen of Pentacles who is solid and stable and in their own right. Um, not seeking fortune or fame. They're happy with who they are and where they're at. They are all about, um, you know, organizing, planning. They're natural born leaders. They're hard workers. They like making tasks and list and, and crossing those things off more more so they can get so involved in what they're doing that they can lose track in sight of the other people involved but overall the um, Queen of Pentacles is a motherly loving energy very much hands-on enjoys things like cooking baking sewing do-it-yourself projects even gardening they like making happy warm efficient homes and what I'm seeing here is this, you know, this person is very grounded and stable. And this could be your energy here, Pisces, not taking any type of action at this time. Because if this is you up here, you're in a period of waiting. And I, with the two energies here being similar, I feel like that is exactly what's going on, is you're, you're, you're in a period of waiting, conflicted, not knowing which direction to go in. And there may be some, you know heartbreak associate with the situation is too. You could be trying to heal from that. Let's take a look at the Four of Pentacles, why you see yourself as the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Pisces, Holy Spirit. Team, why is it here? Thank you. Yeah, we got the Two of Pentacles and the Three of so what I feel like is you're holding on to the situation because you don't know yet which way to go. That's the two of pentacles. You're juggling between, you know, which path do you take? Do you let this go? Do you keep it? You know, the same thing we're seeing with the judgment. You Do we reconcile? Do we not? And that's, I really feel like this is where you are at or maybe even this person, two of pentacles. Please wait. I feel like you're holding on to the idea of reconciling. Two of pentacles. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is, um, you know, they're also juggling between do they let you go, do they try to move this forward. There is a bit of a juggling act happening here. Let's take a look at the Emperor and future hopes and fears.
What is the Emperor here? That is Aries energy. For those of you that may be dealing with an Aries. Okay, so what's clarifying the Emperor is the Page of Wands and the Five of Swords. And what I'm getting here is the need to take control of the situation. The Emperor is powerful. He knows what he wants. He knows how to get it. He knows if he can't get it, he can build it. He takes control. He is assertive and bold. And I feel like you're going to be communicating this. Someone may have done something less than, you know, admirable or honest in this situation. You or them. And I believe there's going to be communication about that. Um, something that was very uh, disturbing and upsetting. And may have led to this Three of Swords here. But I do feel like you're going to do what's in the best interest of you at this time. So let's take a look at this King of Wands energy coming in. And the future energy. Okay, so bottom of the deck, judgment, <laughs> just like we have in the heart of the matter. And we have the four of cups and a, the strength. So what I feel like is there is going to be an offer coming in for some of you from a fire sign, maybe possibly a Leo. Um, there could be a lot of passion here. For others of you, I feel like um, this is the same person you've been dealing with. And you're, you or them are bored by the situation. You're feeling dejected, just done. You're calling final judgment on, on the situation and bringing it to an end. Because, you know, overall, you want to move forward. You want to get to that ten of pentacles. You want to have that happily ever after. Some family influences also may be affecting the situation. All right, let's pull a couple cards from the universe for you before we close this out. All right, spirit team. Let's get a couple cards here from the universe for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, please. Any messages for Pisces at this time? What do you want Pisces to know? Thank you. Okay. Okay, so the cards that came through is the Knight of Cups. So you have a brand new offer of love coming in towards you. We have the Two of Pentacles here. That's that juggling and that juggling. There are many options available and open to you, but some of them are a disillusion. Be careful in what you choose. Um, one is going to lead you to a you have new on opportunity. You have the fool's journey coming in for you. Brand new beginning. New offer in love. You're in this place of juggling. But remember, some of your options are a disillusion. And justice is coming in to right this wrong. So you've got judgment and justice here. Beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, Pisces, that's all I have for you for this week. Thank you for tuning in. If this resonated with you, please do leave a message in the comments below section down below. I always read the comments. If I can, I do comment back. Um, remember to give a thumbs up to keep this video circulating and to subscribe to the channel for future updates on the videos. That being said, remember to always live in light and love. Namaste. Bye for now.